Hey, I'm Ben Baby. I cover the Cincinnati Bengals for ESPN's NFL Nation. And as we get rolling in this 2022 season, anybody who watched the league last year knows that the Cincinnati Bengals have a chance to have one of the most explosive offenses in the league. We're talking guys like quarterback Joe Burrow, running back Joe Mixon, wide receiver Jamar Chase, last year's Rookie of the Year, and other wide receiver Tyler Boyd. But the guy you definitely should not sleep on is wide receiver T. Higgins. The third-year player is poised for another big season after he had a breakout 2021 in which he finished with more than 1,000 yards. And if you look and go back, especially at the end of the season, you saw Higgins really come into his own, especially if you happen to watch Super Bowl 54 where the Bengals took on the Rams. In that game, Higgins had four catches for 100 yards and two touchdowns, including the big play at the beginning of the second half when he beat his man, caught a contested catch, and, and finished the play with a 75-yard touchdown that should have set the tone for the rest of the second half and really put the Bengals in a good position to win a game they ultimately lost. That being said, I think the Bengals are really going to lean on Higgins a lot this year, and he should get a good amount of targets and be a focal point of this offense. If you need any examples of that, just look at what happened whenever Jamar Chase started to pop off in the middle of his rookie season. Once defenses realized, hey, we probably got to double team this guy. Otherwise, he's going to cause a lot of problems for us. That opened up the other side of the field with Higgins in one-on-one -on -one situations. And the, because the Bengals have a guy like Joe Burrow, who is really methodical, really good at making decisions, and is very accurate and timely with the ball, he isn't going to force the ball to Jamar Chase, even if he is one of the most explosive receivers in the NFL and is a guy that Burrow has a lot of rapport with going back to their days at LSU. In fact, when you look at what Higgins did in the back half of the regular season, he was just as productive as Jamar Chase in certain stretches, if not more productive, which means that defenses can't just go ahead and give a lot of attention to just one guy or the other because both receivers are good enough to make you pay in that regard. But what makes Higgins really exciting this year, especially as he gets into a contract year, which we'll get into a, bit, a little bit later, is that he has a massive frame and is able to create a lot of separation even when there doesn't seem to be a lot of it. For example, just go back and look at weeks 10 through 18 of the regular season last year. According to NFL Next Gen Stats, when Higgins had a yard or less of separation, what is classified as a tight window, he actually led the NFL in total EPA. That's expected points added. And that shows that he's able to be productive even when there isn't a lot of space for the ball to arrive. And, and so for Joe Burrow, that's actually a great asset to have and that you have a receiver that you know has a big frame, is long, and can go in at the top of the route and, and top of the you know catch point. He can attack that ball, and there's a good chance that it's not going to be 50-50 odds that he comes down with the ball. It might be a little higher than that. And in fact, we've already seen that throughout training camp in that whenever he's been matched up against other quarterbacks, even when they've had good coverage, guys like rookie Cam Taylor Britt, Eli Apple, you know, they have not been able to hang with Higgins when he jumps and leaps and high points a ball. And to be quite honest, there's very few receivers in the or defenders in the NFL who are going to be able to keep up with Higgins when he goes in the air and he's able to muscle the ball away from them. I think that's what makes him so exciting, and that's what has this Bengals coaching staff buzzing. In fact, I talked to Bengals wide receivers coach Troy Walters, who talked about Higgins' ability to make those contested catches and how he's continuing to grow in, into his frame which is not an insignificant detail. If you remember, Higgins declared early coming out of Clemson after three years. And even when you talk to some of his college coaches and people who knew him well, there was still a sense that Higgins was going to have to grow into that body, add more muscle as he got into the league, and really figure out what it means to be an NFL receiver and what it means to look like an NFL receiver. And as he's continued to develop and got into the league after a couple of years, you're starting to see that really manifest itself and it's a big reason why he could be such a massive asset for the Bengals. And if the Bengals can figure out a way to use Chase Boyd, a new tight end, Hayden Hurst, effectively alongside with Higgins, the Bengals should have a very explosive offense. In fact, I think you can make a pretty strong argument. This should be one of the top offenses in the NFL. And I know that our fantasy football crew just broke down you know, the likelihood of where Chase and Higgins sit in terms of their draft slot and their ADP. And I would, I would venture to agree with those guys and say that you could probably have two top 10 receivers in, in Jamar Chase and T. Higgins in fantasy value because of how the Bengals split up their target shares and the fact that Burrow 
doesn't really feel the need to force the ball to anybody in any one particular receiver, which means that those guys should be getting an equal distribution as they go through the course of the regular season. If all of that comes to fruition, not only will that mean a big year for that Bengals offense, but it's going to mean a massive year for T. Higgins, who will be looking for a contract extension after this season because he'll have his third year of service time in the league. He'll be eligible for that contract extension and one in a market where it seems like receivers are definitely getting paid. Now the question is going to be, how did the Bengals view him, especially when they know that Jamar Chase is going to be eligible for a similar extension after the 2022 season or 23 season, excuse me, once he completes that third year as well. So there's a lot of business discussions to be had, but on the field, there is no doubt that Higgins has played his way into being a good enough receiver to be considered a wide receiver 1A or 1B, depending on how you look at it. And from a fantasy perspective, if he's on your roster, you've got to be absolutely pumped about what he might be able to provide. So all in all, just because the Bengals have a lot of options, don't be afraid and don't sleep on number 85 because he might produce some big things for the Bengals this season. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.